We have been testing and comparing and putting through their paces two Yonex rackets. The Yonex V-Core 98 Tour. Against the Yonex E-Zone 98 Tour. Both glorious rackets. Fantastic rackets, really enjoyed using both of them. However, to me, the V-Core is the superior frame. And if you stay tuned, I'll explain why the E-Zone is the better of the two rackets. So for one of the first times ever, we actually genuinely disagree about which one's better. So we're going to go through all the reasons why and which style of play and which types of player would probably prefer the V-Core over the E-Zone or vice versa. So these two rackets in terms of their spec are very, very similar. Both 98 square inch heads, both 315 grams, both balance point of 320 and the same 16 by 19 string pattern. It's only when you get to the stiffness and the swing weight that you get a real difference in terms of the spec. Yep. So the E-Zone has an RA rating of 64, whereas the V-Core has an RA rating of 63. So the E-Zone is slightly stiffer. As you'd expect, being yeah. Yonex's power frame compared to the spin frame that is the V-Core. Yeah, and the swing weight of the E-Zone is 332, whereas it's 326 on the V-Core. So we're talking about marginal differences, and actually the two rackets, they, they do feel very similar in lots of ways. Yeah, I think, that's, I think that's mainly due to the weight and the head size. And obviously, oh, and obviously we strung them both with Polytor Pro at 53 pounds, and they're freshly strung. So it was as a closer, a fair comparison as we could get. What were your overall thoughts, Josh? My overall thoughts were that I like them both, and that I generally use 300, 305 gram rackets. So at 315, obviously, I, the change to me is the weight, um, which actually I really enjoyed because you just, especially when defending, it just feels more solid. Mm. Um, and when you get that racket moving, you get so much more power. And I think that's probably why I lent this way, was because I could generate what felt to me like lots of power because of the extra weight, but because it's that control, more controlled frame, I felt like I couldn't miss. Mm. Whereas so, if the ease and it felt a little bit unwieldy. So inter interestingly, so yeah, my overall thoughts like that, and for complete clarity this is this is my racket so this is the racket that i'm used to playing with so probably i'm going to lean slightly that way anyway just because of what's comfortable to me um i think both rackets are brilliant i think what's interesting you saying that you felt like you were getting enough power on here but from my perspective down the other end when you were playing with this it felt like a much heavier ball mm. it felt like a much heavier ball coming at me and i think that that is that is where the difference lies is that yes it may be it can feel unwieldy sometimes if you're if you're slightly out of control but the power you get from this is far greater than that the spin you get from that is better than this yeah certainly when it comes to shortening up and kind of punching jabbing volleys the e zone was superior but when it came to trying to whip a load of spin on or count or kind of yeah short whippier swings flicks maneuverability then the V-Core, I think, was better. And I think it was more better. Mm. Do you like that? Mm. More better than the V-Core is more better when it comes to power. The difference. Than the E-Zone is. Bigger. Than the E-Zone Sorry, is. yes, the E-Zone. Um, when, when the ball's coming at you quickly, the, the extra stability you get with the E-Zone is fantastic. So I much prefer, in terms of, if I was to take a shot and say which racket above all, above all else in a particular shot, volleying with this, is, is to me is far far nicer than with that yeah and I'm now we talk about it I may slightly change my opinion <laughs> okay if I was playing singles I would take this okay if I was playing doubles I would take the e-zone because I think because return of serve returning big fast first serves little that's going to be better and volleying it certainly is better and they're going to be your two most important shots when playing doubles Serving, there wasn't too much of a disparity between the two. No, and again, we, we'll get to we'll get to the categories that we usually rate on. But um, in terms of if you think about if you think about the serving, more power with this, but more spin with that, and that kind of translates across the range. This is Yonex's spin racket. This is Yonex's power racket. That's as you'd expect. And I would say that because Yonex's manufacturing is so good, those things really are those things really are true. They are true to what they're supposed to do, without a doubt. And I think that's really I think that is really interesting that because you can be more certain of the accuracy of the specs, especially with exactly the same string, 
and so many of the other specs being the same, the weight, the head size, the string pattern, that you really are comparing the difference in the mold, mm. the difference in the in the actual frame, the actual way the graphite's put together. Yeah. And you can feel a difference between the two. So let's get to our uh, results. Yeah. Now people have been asking us to put shot specific uh, categories in, and we are gonna not do that. <laughs> but we are gonna talk about it. We've obviously spoken about serve, we've spoken about volley. We will, we will talk about individual shots, but the overarching categories, as always, will be power, spin, touch and feel, and control and precision. So, leading off with Josh's favorite. Power. Power. And that undoubtedly goes to the E-Zone. And this is easy access to power, and yeah, all, all round power, as well as that easy access when defending, stuff like that. This does a great job. This does it better than anything else, as far as I'm concerned. It also, within power, there's an element of stability, comfort, off-centre hits. The E-Zone helps you out. Um, yes. And, it, and it's better, and that, and that all kind of comes into that power category. Of big first serves, etc. Um, big game. Big game. Big man. S small game. <laughs> uh, on to spin, and I guess you can probably guess there's a clear winner on this too. While the E-Zone generates good spin, and uh, I've often said that I think that the, the, the beauty of the E-Zone is it does lots of things very, very well. So for a power frame, it is very good at generating spin. It's very good for touch and feel and stuff like that. In terms of spin, the V-Core is definitely uh, a preferable option. Yeah, it's because of these, because of the uh, slight notches yeah aerodynamic things just allows that extra bit of head speed i think that's the difference sure could well be no, i mean I it must be it must be something because all the other specs are so similar right yeah um so yes the v call wins oh, I know. they're called aero fins aero fins it's because of the aero fins maybe but yeah you can generate very healthy amounts of spin yes um uh, what would you say in comparison to some of the other popular spin rackets uh, probably not as spin friendly as say an aero. Yeah, or an extreme. Or an extreme, but probably most similar to maybe like a shift. Yeah. I'd say okay. they would probably go up against each other quite nicely. The Shift 99 Pro or yeah. this would probably be not a bad comparison to yeah. do. Yeah. And I've, while this is officially Onyx's spin racket, I think we've said in our in our full review, which you can check out of, of this racket, it's actually much more of an all-rounder. Yeah, it's a great, it? yeah, it's a very, very good tennis racket. Yeah. In fact, the V-Core as a range is one that if I was recommending a racket to somebody and I knew nothing about them, I would say to go yeah. this and you wouldn't go wrong. So Everyone's going to not like it. On to touch and feel. And we, we tested this a lot because initially Josh was resistant to the fact that the E-Zone would have as good touch and feel as the V-Core. But we eventually came to a conclusion that it was a tie that it does. I think the manoeuvrability of this gives it some bonus points, but then the stability and comfort of the E-Zone, when the ball's hit hard and the touch and feel, gives that some bonus points. So when you weigh that all up together, it is certainly a tie for me. Yeah, and again, the reason, as I said, I would argue for the fact that this is the better racket is that there isn't another power racket that gets anywhere close to the touch and feel that this does. Yeah, I agree. Whoa. Amazing. Uh, finally, on to precision and control. Um, and the winner for this is the V-Core. And quite, yeah, com comfortably so. This is, yeah. a, this, is a, this is a big weapon for hitting the ball hard yeah. with some beautiful, surprising touch and feel. But in terms of control and precision, this feels like you can't miss. I think it's partly from the spin generation. Yes. So you get some dwell time. Ball feels like it catches on the strings for longer. But I also think there's that holy grail of tennis rackets that all the rackets are trying to create, which is power and control. Yes. And I think this does it as close. No, this does it. Anything. No, I think this does it because I think that even when you go and play bigger, you feel like you're in control still. When you go bigger with that, you feel like you lose control. Yeah, but you can go bigger. <laughs> <laughs> as you can see, this is the impasse we're at. Yes. Um, uh, obviously, I, this, this is the racket I am choosing over over the two. However, if 
uh, I was playing a match and I lost my temper and smashed all of my E-Zone tours, this would be absolutely my second choice. Oh, really? Yeah. That's, I didn't know that. And equally, I think I would now also slightly suffer my position to say that if I was playing doubles, I think I probably would go E-Zone, singles, longer rallies, more control from the back, more yeah, more consistency, more spin required. Yeah. I would I would go V core. Um, yes. So in terms of the, the individual shots, we've spoken about the serve. You want power, go E zone. You want spin, go V core. In terms of volleys, we've spoken about that. Stability, punchy. E zone is better. When you're playing from the back of the court, big flat big flat balls generating real pressure through the power then it's the E zone yeah, and counter punching and defending yeah or defending pace defending kind of low whippy flicky ones yeah this um, and, in and in terms of consistency in that sort of really vague and term I don't really like to use with regards to a tennis court but in terms of being able to control the ball to, to stay in rallies to generate a lot of spin and, and, and play in a sort of sustainable way then the V core yeah and that kind of also needs to say like maybe a longer more traditional more mo or I said probably more modern swing long fast swing slightly shorter punchier flatter swing you're probably going to go easier. If you're dealing with faster balls, maybe you're playing on Astro, the E zone is going to be better for you for that. If you're on maybe a slower surface, you've got more time, you can take a longer swing or you have a longer swing, the V core is going to be something that's going to give you that control as the racket comes through with that extra pace. Touch and feel on, around, in and around the net, both rackets do brilliantly well. Again, I'm, I, I think it's Yonex's manufacturing quality, yep. just gives a, just a, a level of quality that very few can match. And we actually learnt something new about Yonex's manufacturing quality recently. Did we? Yeah, Yonex were telling me. Okay. They uh, went to visit the factory in Japan, and you know when you go into surgery, yes. and you go into like the airtight section, you get sprayed with air, they do that in between the build and paint phase of tennis rackets. So even if you're on a tour, you have to go in, you get sprayed down with air to make sure all your dust particles are off you. You're put in a hairnet, you've got hands in your pockets and gloves to walk through to make sure there's no extra particles that get within the paint, which would throw off the weight and the balance. Attention to detail is what we love about these frames. So overall, both terrific rackets on our, on our scoring system. The V-Core just wins out, but for me, it's always the E-Zone. Um, both rackets are fantastic on, and they are my two favorite rackets in the world. <laughs> well, that is a world exclusive. We now know Joe's favorite two rackets in the world. Uh, an exciting news as well. Another Yonex little bit of news here. New E zone in January. Yeah. Woohoo! Can we wait? And we've seen it. We can't tell you what it looks like at all. This is under lock and key. Uh, but very exciting news. So we'll be excited to share that with you. Um, again, if you want full reviews of these rackets, please check out the other videos on the channel. Uh, and if you'd like any other comparisons like MTech did on YouTube, then we will be happy to do so. See you soon.